One percenters, welcome back. Coach Tommy here. I'm super disappointed in you guys. Jovan Novak. How come you guys haven't told me about this guy? He's Serbian. I guess he's a point guard. And um, I saw on Instagram someone says he shoots everything off of one leg. So I've been talking about this. We've been talking about this. You're supposed to help me out. Um, the six jump types, right? Off of one leg, left only, right only, left right plant, right left plant, left drop, right hop. So those six jump types, and um, it's just the evolution of the game. Um, so let's kind of watch point guard, 6'2". So he's uh, he's one inch taller than me. I'm 6'1". He's 187. I'm about 183, 185. So we're about the same size. So can I guard him? Let's find out. Probably not because he's a pro. And I'm washed. I don't play any defense anymore. Um, points per game. I average way more than that. 41% assist. <coughs> Three pointers, 35 rebounds, 82 uh, turnover. That's kind of a lot. Three three to one, I guess. Uh, that's pretty good. But uh, overall, sounds kind of like a lot. Playmaking, capable shooter. So if he's a point guard, I'm, I'm thinking he's a playmaker. When we talk about the uh, personality types capable shooter so they use that word capable that means he's an okay shooter not a uh, great shooter feel for the game iq <clears throat> that's a strategist for sure uh leads 8.9 creates most points per possession wow excellent turnover ratio pest pure point rating <coughs> pass first point guard what the heck i can't read that fast and cough Vision, very unselfish, always looking for open teammates, keeps everyone involved, shooters, bigs, cutters. That's definitely a playmaker right there. Strategist, keeping all the guys involved. So let's watch um, playmaking. That's him, I guess, with the lefty. Nice little lead pass. <coughs> what makes a great pass? Right type, right time, right target. That's a little slow, could have led him a little faster, but I'm a playmaker, so I'm gonna be extra nitpicky on playmakers. There he is again. There's that dime there. I mean, that looks a little slow. Like, these look a little slow. You could put a little heat on it. A little more heat on it. True story today. I was playing basketball pickup, um, and I threw a ball, and guy had his hands up. I threw it right at his face. It hit him right in the face. <laughs> it's just, yeah. You call for it. I hit him right in the face. KYP, you should know your personnel. So I'm assuming he knows all his teammates, what they're capable of doing, not doing. He does not look very uh, agile. That's a nice look there. Does he have the um, variety of passing types? He reminds me a lot of Manu Ginobili, a little left-handed, um, not as stylistically. Oh, I take it back, so he does. That's not a super clean behind the back, but that was pretty nice. He looks very much like Ginobili. Oh my god. Ginobili! So like a traditional person, a more scoring minded person would have just went for the old bank shot here. So right here, look him off, you can keep him on your hip and then you can do a little fade using the backboard, especially because you're left handed. He holds up the guy long enough. <coughs> Lobs it up to that big. That big's not a big jumper. So these passes are like, I'm super nitpicky. A little bit late. This was a nice little off the dribble hook pass. Again, super nitpicky. I would have put a little spin on it, a little side spin, so it bounces back towards the uh, guy just a touch. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, sorry. <laughs> nice little no look shovel. I'm more interested in his shooting uh, right here this pass gets there right type right time right target yes could it have been a lot easier right um, you could have just swung it here and this guy could have lobbed it in but he holds it for that extra split second throwing across your body like this definitely not recommended this guy could easily slip across and steal that pass that's like a very very tough pass high degree of difficulty great execution 
Do not recommend that for most people. Very patient. I um, mean, it looks like he tends to pick up the ball and hold it a lot. I need to see. I need to see why these why these things are available to him. He has to be capable shooter because I don't know why you would double team this guy. He's he's not super explosive. This is a good look away here. He doesn't look super explosive to blow by guys, so he's definitely using his mind to manipulate people here. So right here you could you could see him um, waving the guy like come back and rescreen. All the while that guy in the back is slipping back under there, and so that guy's coming up. That the post player doesn't even know what the heck is going on, so he's waiting for this guy in the back to slip. Perfect little dime there. Nice little setup. Easy play, design play. Again, pick and roll, patient, double stagger. Is there another one coming back? Oh, great finish, better finish than pass there. I just want to yell Ginobili every single time. Jovan, I'm assuming, Jovan or Jovan Novak. That should have been a layup. Um, if you're a Denver fan watching this, I mean, this is kind of like the Compasso thing. You can get all the way there. You can hang and just float it up on the left side. Definitely much more comfortable looking to pass. I've seen him pass a ton of shots already right here. That should have been a, a layup. If you can stop, you know, aggressively stop, hang and lean like, like right here. Boom, you stop, you hang right here. That's your shot. Um, that's uh, Goran Dragic, right? Lefty, takes that shot all the time. Ginobili would take that shot. <coughs> that's super fundamental, knowing the reads there, knowing the doubles on you, you can just reverse pivot and find your, find your guy. So it looks like average to below average athlete. Don't know what league this is. The vision is great. A little handoff, there's a pick and roll, gets a double, gets around the corner. Slides by the big, hits the baseline cutter. So this guy, this guy would not be good um, in the NBA because the NBA is just so athletic um, and guys don't, move that well off the ball like like how i'm seeing here a lot of these guys move great off the ball even though it's the same game the style is so much different um even team to team There's always two sides of everything. Um, if it says P and R reads and unselfishness, it could look like he's he can't shoot, like like he's not willing to score. If he's only scoring nine points a game and he can pass like this, so when, so when they talk about the 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 uh, personality profile, right? So a playmaker. Right, this is a Joker and a LeBron, a Chris Paul. The opposite end of that kind of spectrum is the score. You have to score more to balance out the playmaking ability. People will leave you, um, and then you'll just be like a, a Rondo, a Draymond Green, um, some other guys that that just purely pass. Jason Kidd for a while, they would let him, they would leave him all the time. So you have to balance out your shooting and your scoring. So. You have to be a much better sniper down the end. Like uh, Jason Kidd was was very good at sniping, just stationary um, threes and stuff like that towards the end of his career. Well, 
sauce, their little showmanship with the behind the back. I don't see him celebrating. Sometimes the behind the back is just the necessary pass and sometimes it's not really for, you know, razzle dazzle. This guy's got a ton of uh, assist highlights. Here we go, let me see the capable shooter. Unconventional mechanics, but capable shooter 39. That's that's really good. 40 from three, one, two threes in the last two seasons. Very good off the dribble shooter. 40, yeah, that's really good. Decent catch and shoot option. 39, I mean, if that's a three-pointer, that's really good. Quick, fluid release, able to create separation with step X. Unconventional mechanics. So when I talk about um, the game, the evolution of the game, there, there's only so many ways the game can go. <coughs> and you kind of bet on which way the game will go. The league, it went from, you know, bang, bullies, and then it went to like Shaq. So every, everyone was looking for a big man, right? You kind of have to think of, of your niche where you can score or, or hunt and win. Um, then it went from like Shaq to then your stretch four, like Dirk Nowitzki, Kevin Garnett type. And then um, because those bigs didn't want to battle with Shaq and Patrick Ewing and David Robinson, and then so you got your stretch fours and then now you got so much space now you got only one guy in the middle and then you got four guys around the outside and then so now you leave room for guys like steve nash a little guy that just runs all over the place and, and roams and then that makes room for you know little guys to, that can shoot really well like steph curry to to develop so where will the game go next? I mean, it's already going that way. Giannis, you're having these like big, gigantic, long guys that can do it all. Um, but what will be the next evolution? How will these players evolve um, the next generation? Will they become bigger, badder, faster like football players? Like I'm predicting will be one way. Um, will players be able to shoot off of both hands? So left and right handed shooting because then that'll open up a ton of angles as you shoot. Um, will they develop new ways of shooting like behind the head? Like, um, will more players shoot like Jokic, Larry Bird, Luka, the high position three that I talk about? Will they all shoot hook shots like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar um, off the close stance? Will they shoot off of one leg? Um, like I've done plenty of times off of my right leg and one leg at step back. So I'm hoping to see that this um, Jovan Novak does a lot of one-leggers. He's left-handed, so it'll probably be off of his right foot so if you're young or if you got a kid out there and all you're doing is trying to train them how to shoot threes um in the next 10 years the game will have changed already because the conventional wisdom is everybody's going to be a three-point shooter so that'll be the base um, that you'll need to play this game a little quick step back off of one leg there i mean I had a teammate named uh, Ronnie. Shout out to Ronnie. Man, he, he already did this. He did this 15 years ago. Filipino professional. Um, he would kill. And his calf is like, I don't know, like <laughs> so huge. Thin ankles, gigantic calves. Big quads, gigantic calves. He was uh, maybe one inch taller than me and probably 10 pounds heavier than me. Um, and we would just go at it all the time. So these are very hard to time, <laughs> right? So when, when something's unconventional, you know you're doing something good because people don't know how to defend it yet. There's not enough inputs. There's not enough data for people to figure out how to defend this. So here it looks like he's going to take a right, <coughs> a left, right into a jump shot, but he goes left into a quick step back off of one leg. Capable shooter off the dribble. Yep, so everything's a little step back, so it's more of a push shot. So let's look at the uh, the position of it. So the elbow's pretty low. Okay, and then so he's just pushing this. So if he doesn't shoot it high, he has to get more uh, backwards space. So every everything that you do for dribbling. Um, is masking your inability to shoot. It's just that simple. You don't need dribbling in basketball. If you could shoot it at 94 feet and make it, you don't need dribbling, okay? You just need passing and shooting, and really shooting is passing to the rim. So when I talk about uh, passing is the more, most important skill, 
That's why. So here, okay, he, he closes down the space and then steps back to get more space. Okay, the position positioning and the release point's not very high, but since the timing and, it, and every single shot is a step back, it's always giving him that extra count to shoot against all the defenders. I mean, as I, as I play more and more pickup, as I get older and older and all these guys just get younger and younger, I mean, <coughs> you have to find ways to, to be relevant and useful on the court. <coughs> There's a two-footer shot there. But you have to evolve your game. Um, sometimes a game evolves away from you, like uh, Russell Westbrook, DeAndre Jordan, these, these versatile kind of bigs like DeAndre Jordan, um, just the... the the rim crashers and the, and the vertical separators. The game evolved away from those guys. Dwight Howard, um, those guys aren't very useful anymore. Now you need, you know, perimeter shooting and length and stuff like that. So if you can't shoot, you're, you're aged out of this game or the game evolved out of you. Um, Russell Westbrook, the game's evolved away from him. You can't just, you know, go flying in there, crash, and then, you know, kick out to everybody. You have to be a threat on the outside so the game's kind of evolving away from russell westbrook who's like a you know like a polar bear he you know running out of ice same thing dwight howard um those guys are just you, know, you, you won't see them anymore they're extinct and the game kind of evolved in a way for chris paul you know he was always kind of small he could always shoot but back then it was just before when he came into the league very physical so he didn't shoot as much and so that's all. That's why you see Chris Paul is just so much more uh, uh, dynamic now because he's surrounded by shooters and the freedom to dribble and create and do everything that he does. He could still do it at an old age. Um, someone that the game has evolved kind of what the game is. LeBron back then is way more physical. Now he can actually shoot and score a little bit, so he can actually shoot that <coughs> far shot as he's gotten older and a little slower. So in terms of. Uh, Ooh, that's tough, right in their face, off of one leg. So what do you get? You get this kind of element of surprise at, that, like this. This looks like he's about to lift to jab his foot, this element of surprise, and then it gets up. So you have the element of surprise, and then you have the element of space on every step back. That set shot is ugly. So on the set shot off of the two, it's not so much of a push shot. Let's see. Hold on here. So here, that is ugly. Okay, so he barely even bends, minimal bend there. So he's mainly just using the uh, ankles and a tiny bit of the hips there. So mainly calves. And he's just pushing with a high position three. So he doesn't want to bend very much on, on, on those shots there. It's ugly, doesn't matter if it goes in. <coughs> so high position three on the set ones, and then a little bit lower on the step back ones. The step back ones are much, 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 much more fluid. The set ones are more mechanical. So even here, I mean, I'm curious to know why he decides to go off of one when he has all this time and everything. I mean, it's just probably what he's, what he's most comfortable doing. Oh, 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 Jovan Novak. Doesn't drive often, but reads the defense and picks the spots very well. Very efficient, although small sample. Very efficient finisher. Doesn't look like he goes to the rim. Likes to penetrate with his offhand and catch defenders off guard. Smart and instinctual. Help defender. Quick hands and uh, good anticipation. I mean, that's all. That's all stuff a slow person has to do to be successful. You have to be quick hands and you have to gr have great an anticipation. And then if you're slow, you have to, like I said, you have to find ways to be productive. So you have to catch people off guard. You're not blowing past people. You're not jumping over people. You better figure out a way to be successful. That's a tough finger roll down the middle. Rip. 
jumping all crazy and slicing. Right hand finish. Nice little cross over there. <coughs> so left leg up and under and hook around. Oh, wild. So he has some comfortability, comfortability in the air. This is slightly wild. But he's able to get up, avoid the contact, poise, get all the way around, locate the rim, flip it up with the offhand. Oh, that was nasty. And so these are these are lengthy jumps, right? He, he's taking off early. <clears throat> so the creativity is necessary for him to be able to score like max athleticism on display plus the creativity is needed like if he just went up try to jump high he'd get smacked because that guy's timing it to the rim but he takes off early and then lengthens this thing out so that guy can't even get his hand up in time and then it's really high and soft off the glass that's big time Again, right, a speed layup, great touch. That's just a bad pass. I mean, this is just brains. Okay, so now we're getting into his defense. Jovan Novak. Okay, so when I, when I said him, when he did this pass earlier, this is a very difficult pass when you pivot through and then you try to throw across your body. So he's right-handed, he's trying to throw it back with his right hand. Okay, so that window to pass is on the receiver's right side. Okay, because the left side is taken away by the on-ball defender. So you just wait for that ball to come and uh, you just take it. The receiver doesn't help out at all by trying to move before he gets the ball. So that's just a steal from the brains. So like, if, if you're smart, you can just prey on other people's weaknesses or dumb mistakes. This is a lot, a lot, a lot of coaching um, for players to understand all of those nuances. I don't know, that's like three seconds all day long. So when they say feel for the game, oh, that, that's, that's a lot of brains. Fighting around a, a post guy there, not letting that entry come in. Again, that's a bad pass. Okay, I, I don't need to see more of his steals and stuff like that. I said what I had to say. Let me know what you guys think about Jovan Novak. Um, oh, that's the end of it. Okay, so let me know what you guys think about Jovan Novak. How come you guys didn't let me know earlier? Are there any other great Serbian standouts? Any other great um, players that are evolving the game that I don't know about? Um, are there guys that are shooting it, you know, left-handed and right-handed off of one leg? Um, I call them Euro step threes, um, left-right shots. I do it all the time. Um, One-leggers, uh, Dirk made it pretty famous. Lots of people are doing it. Um, yeah, let me know if, if there's guys out there that are kind of evolving the game remember when i talk about like innovators and stuff like that it always looks crazy when you're the only one doing it um, but if it works it works and until more people do it and, and converge on it will it be accepted all right guys until next time take 14 minutes 24 seconds or one percent of your day to get better peace